welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am Tony Green. So for today's show, um, it's really raining outside and I've already had some internet like complications. I don't know if people are going to be able to get through the uh, blog talk. The number is 845-277-9131 if you'd like to call in. And also, I'm still a little bit in recovery mode from um, a little thing that I caught somewhere from someone. Uh, so we're going to see how far and how long we can push the show today. Uh, if I cough, I apologize in advance, but I'll do my best to, you know, repress it, suck it up, whatever you want to call it um and go through with this show again the number to call in is 845-277-9131 i will be taking callers and i'll be answering questions in the chat so if anybody in the chat has a question they'd like to post i will be happy to answer that question i want to say hi to my little brother stevie stevie how are you up oh, yep I just lost. Um, I just lost my uh, blog talk callers. The board went down, but we'll see what happens with that. Um, so anyway, um, we'll see if we're going to take callers today or not. Well, I might just be talking with people on YouTube and and uh, chatting that way. So a couple of really quick announcements, really important things. The first thing is um, I started on TikTok. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it sounds, I actually, I might have a little bit of a TikTok addiction. <laughs> and it's not as funny as it seems. However, um. They're uh, on TikTok. I'm posting videos. They're like a minute each and they're of healings and different things. I'm going to be doing healings and little statements and reaching out with readings. And um, two weeks ago, prior to this, I put um, four healings out. I think it was four. One for abundance, abuse, trauma, and then just in general, stress and negativity. So if you can, if you want to go to TikTok and you can listen to those clearings, healings, anytime you want, they're there for you. And I'll be putting many, many more in the, on the TikTok, on the TikTok, <laughs> on TikTok. Um, oh, I know Fawn, right? Fawn says that she, she loves TikTok too. It's so addicting. So what, where I'm going to start today, I'm going to start with a, um, a little something about dating and relationships. Okay. So, hey, Patrick, how are you? Genevieve and um, Fawn, Heather are all in the chat with me right now. Um, so I'm so happy to be in the chat with them and have them on with me and be communicating with me when they say something or type something, I'll repeat it and say it for you guys. So it's not, you're not just hearing my side of the conversation. Um, Patrick says, uh, me too. If I start in the evening, I forget to sleep. Yes. It's so very dangerous. You're right. Patrick TikTok, like because all the videos are like a minute to three minutes. So you just like are swiping. If you don't like it, you just go to the next one. It's like slots and Vegas. Not that I do slots and Vegas. I don't. But I, I would compare it to that. It's so addicting. Um, so, yes, I want to thank Genevieve. Genevieve sent some healing work to me and Mimi sent some prayers out to me. And I know a lot of other people were sending a lot of prayers for me while I was recovering and checking in on me. And I'm really grateful. Thank you so much for that. I, I really appreciate it, every bit of it. And yes, Genevieve, I did feel it. Um, I think that is why I'm starting to recover a bit more now. And um, 
yeah, so thank you so very much for that. I'm so grateful to everybody for all of that. Um, so, uh, yes, okay, so now I'm going to go into my little dating thing, my dating and relationship thing. So I want everybody to take a moment and think about something. I want you to think about the relationship that your parents have. If your parents, if you were in a single family home, if you had two parents, if they were married, if it was a step parent, I want you to think about that for a minute. Just take a minute and think about the dynamics that you had when you were growing up relationship wise. And now whether you're the male or the female, I want you to like appropriately place yourself in this scenario. One of the things I've come to realize is that you will partner up with the parent. Um, how do I say this? You're going, you're, you will end up partnering up with a person that mimics the relationship that your parents had when you grew up. Energetically, you will be drawn to that person until, yep, until you, um, until you heal any dynamics from that, that situation in your childhood. Once you do that, you'll have healthier, better relationships. But if you, let's just say, grew up in a situation where your parents or your situation was, let's just say, abusive emotionally or psychologically or um, heaven forbid, physically, you will end up attracting a uh, partner who may have grown up and seen that same thing. And then the two of you on some level relive that, not to relive it, but to heal it. Every partner we bring in, whether it's a friend, family, whatever it is, a, a relationship, they come in to help us heal what has not been healed yet so that we can evolve in our journey. Okay. Um, if you'd like to call in and ask a question, the number is 845-277-9131. I'll be happy to take any callers. I don't know. Can can people get through on Blog Talk today? Or if you call in, can you get through? I'm not sure because all the calls just dropped at once. I might have to reconnect to Blog Talk <clears throat> in a second. Uh and and see what 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 uh, if 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 that helps or not. But if you can try to call into Blog Talk and let me know if uh, if it's able to take calls. Sometimes you know, Blog Talk I think is on the East Coast, and um, sometimes what's going on there is very different than what's going on here. So if anybody in the chat has a question they would like to ask, I would love to answer it. Um, let me know. I'll be happy to answer that question for you. Oh, yeah. Genevieve's the one who said, I'm sorry, Patrick. Genevieve's the one who said um, that it's so addicting. She'll be up all night um, watching it. Yeah, Genevieve, me too. We are probably watching pretty much the same things on TikTok also. Um, the rant, Heather wants to know, can you connect with Steven, he was my first serious relationship. Okay, Heather, do you have a question for Steven? What would you like to, to know from Steven? Okay, yeah, some there's somebody right here. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, the first thing he is saying is he's sorry, and then the song comes on it that it says, "I'm sorry." Uh, something, um, I don't know all the words to the song, but those are, that's the beginning of the song. And most people, um, who know that song will know it. And then the next thing he wants, the, the biggest thing he's saying, um, Heather is that he's sorry. And he's had, he had a lot of, I hear the word complication. So I feel like he had a lot of complications in his life and he had a lot of um, dis, dis, distress. Distress is the word I'm getting. He also wanted to, um, 
I feel like I'm hearing just one word at a time and I'm kind of putting sentences together for it. So if it makes sense, please let me know. Um, he had a lot of distress and then I hear the word want to change, want to change, want to change. So I feel like that, that in his situation, he wanted to, either he wanted to change him or change the situation. Either way, he felt helpless and couldn't. And he felt, um, and then this song is coming. He's singing this song. Um, so if, uh, before you go, tell me, is there something I could have said or done to make the heart, the heartbeat or the heartbreak better? Um, I, I know this song and I'm not singing it on beat, but I'm, I, those are the words. Um, so, uh, yeah. And then the other thing that he would say is, um, he's singing another song. I'm all right. Don't nobody worry about me. <laughs> uh, yes. Awesome. Okay. That is what Stephen is saying. Did you have a specific, let me check if, I'm going to check if um, Heather has something very specific she wants to ask him. Um, I'm sorry about hurting you. Wish I, okay, so Heather is saying to Stephen, I'm sorry about hurting you. Wish I could have helped you. Heather, um, even before I read that, I think the comments that he was he was giving you are letting you know this isn't um, something about you. And and um, he's saying, I understand, I understand, I understand. It's a part of life. It's the cycle. We learn, we grow, we give, we take. Um, and he's letting you know it, it wasn't. First of all, let go, of, let go of that. And I'm going to do a clearing and a healing right now for guilt. Um, and to forgive ourselves. So first, the first clearing is going to be on guilt. We have uh, cleared all guilt. I get a no. So we're going to clear that. And then uh, we have forgiven ourselves. And I get a no. So we're going to clear that. And I'm, I'm going to tell you, Heather, I'm so happy that you are asking this of him and, and stating this because sometimes, you know, when we're younger, we just don't understand love. We don't understand those dynamics. We don't understand everything that, you know, when we look back, we're like, oh, I could have handled that better. But everything happens exactly as it's supposed to. And we have to accept that and try to move forward with that. <laughs> so what I'm going to say is that he is in a place of complete and total forgiveness. And you don't need to worry I'm all right. Don't nobody worry about me. Uh, so you don't have to give me advice. Something, something. Just let me be. That he doesn't want to uh, say let me be, but he does want to say I'm all right. I'm okay. I, I've made it. I've made it to the uh, like to the other side, and I am. Um, stargazing he's stargazing i know what that means you guys should know what that means too okay if you're on youtube and you have a question put it in the chat i'm happy to answer your question i'm happy to connect with loved ones on the other side for you so please go right ahead and do that for me um uh, i tried to call and check it hangs up yeah okay everybody i'm really sorry um blog talk is having um probably some technical difficulties and people can't get through today. And I'm really sorry about that. I wish, I wish we could get through. Unfortunately, the calls can't, but I can take your questions on YouTube. Just put them in the chat. I'm happy to answer any questions for you. So let's get to the questions. Come on, bring them on. Um, Genevieve, uh, I'm curious if I should continue my learnings with ESP to evoke. I tested it and I can't get through. Okay. Am I getting that question correct, Genevieve? You're curious if you should continue your learning with ESP to evoke. 
evolve, evolve, not evoke, evolve. Thank you. Sorry. Sorry, Genevieve, to evolve, not evoke. Um, yes. Yeah. It, you know what? To the level that's comfortable for you. Okay. To the level that's comfortable for you. You're, you're here. If you truly feel like it's going to get you here, yes. Um, but don't do it just to do it. Make sure it is giving you those results. Also, you can tap into your guides and angels during meditation and be able to do a lot of it on your own now. But if you feel like you still need a little guidance, you can go ahead and go for that. But don't feel like that's a necessity because you have a lot of this on your own already. Okay. So don't feel like it's a necessity to do that. I feel like I'm, I'm just going to uh, disconnect blog talk right now, everybody, um, because uh, they're not getting anything anyway. So we're just going to go straight YouTube today. Um, okay. So uh, um, if you feel like it is something that, that will help you absolutely 100% go for it. Okay. Um, but again, your, your guides and your ancestors are coming in and they're helping you to, to evolve and to be in that space where you are um, evolving. So it's, it's good if you, if you're, if you feel like it is helping you, but if you, but you can do it on your own. If you feel like you need that coach, excellent, but you can do it on your own. Okay. Um, anybody else in the queue? Anybody else in the chat have a question for me? Anybody else have anything they would like to say or ask or um, talk with me about anything at all? Any loved ones? Fawn, do you have any loved ones? Patrick, do you have any loved ones? Anybody at all have any loved ones or any questions for me? And if you're watching and you haven't, um, Join the chat. Join the chat. Go ahead. Ask me a question. I'll tell you, for those of you who don't know, I've been clairvoyant since, or whatever you call this, since I was a child. I never um, shut my gifts down. So I'm able to connect with loved ones, answer questions about your future, Um how about my grandma? Okay, Fawn, what's your grandma's name? Your just her first name. Uh, what's your grandma's first name? And Fawn, I'm gonna say I feel like your grandma was a little bit spicy or spunky at one point. I'm seeing, I'm instantly seeing a woman here who is a little bit um, thinner. She's thinner, and she wore um, glasses at least at one point, or sometimes she wore glasses and this white like crocheted sweater. If this is your grandma that you're meaning to connect with, please let me know. I feel like towards the end, she um, might have had that little thing with her back or a little difficulty walking. That's the first person I'm seeing. Is that the description of the grandma that you would like to connect with? Please let me know, Fawn. Dinah, Rhina, Rhina or Dinah, Dinah or Rhina. Um, well, she's here. This this woman is here, um, and she is saying, "Yep, uh, Genevieve." Uh, thank you, Genevieve. Um, Fawn is saying, "Other grandma is Alma." Okay, the one I'm describing right now is it the one you want to connect with? Um, a little bit at the end. So here's the thing. Sometimes. Throughout life, you know, we're we're at a certain um, we, we have a certain um, weight to us. But as we kind of get a little older, sometimes we start to lose weight. I feel like at one point she was probably a very healthy, not big healthy, but healthy. Now she's um, a little um, thinner. This gram this grandma is a little thinner and with with glasses. So if that's the one you want to connect with, please let me know. Um, there, and t tell me, just let me know if this is the grandma you're meaning 
Yes. Okay. Fawn says, yes, this is the grandma. Okay. So this grandma, the first thing she wants to, to, <laughs> she was a little spunky, a little spicy in her younger years, but even in the end, she like kept some vibrancy to her. Um, she is letting me know it was a, a long, a long journey. Like is, I don't know if she means her life was a long journey, but a long journey. It could have been that time when she was passing. It was a long path, like a long passing, like, um, and she is saying that she had, um, it gave her time to, to, okay. Uh, okay. It gave her time to contemplate like whatever happened at the end of, end of her life, um, that time gave her time to contemplate and look back and understand her life. And she's, she was able to appreciate her life before she left that I, that's the, the message that she wants to, to say for you. I don't know if that makes sense for you. She also wants to say, thank, thank you for, for thinking of her and connecting with her. Thank you for that. And she wants to let you know that she watches over you. And at night when you sleep, she's the one that you feel at the side of your bed. And sometimes she's um, she's at the side of your bed, like almost like if you were a child reading you a good night story, but not really reading the whole, the, not like the childhood stories, just telling you everything's going to be okay. It's going to work out. This is what's coming in. Um, let's, let's, mm, I don't want to say let's not, don't, don't worry so much. Don't worry so much. Um, and that's what she would say to you. That's what she wants you to know. And that, that uh, there are several people up there that are, watching out for you and guiding you and don't don't take one breath for granted don't take one breath for granted because there's going to be a time when you look back and you're going to hope that you have more breaths coming in okay fawn i hope that makes sense to you i really hope that makes sense to you and i hope you feel her at your bedside at night she says there are other ones there, but she is definitely there at your bedside at night. Okay, thank you, Fawn, for letting me connect with your... Uh, oh, she knows you. She says, I know you love me. Fawn says, tell her I love her. She was um, stuck in bed for years. Okay, so thank you for that confirmation. Yes, okay, so when she says it was long, it was a long, long time at the end of her life and it gave her time to con contemplate or look over her life and kind of review it and have, thank you for that confirmation. Thank you so much for that confirmation. I love that. Thank you so much. Um, I'm so grateful for that. And she knows you love her and she is by your bedside and don't take one breath for granted is the other, the biggest message she would want to give you. And of course they love you too. Collectively, they love you. Okay. I'm going to go to Terry T. Hi. Uh, if, if you have time, may I ask about a dream I had? Thank you. Okay, Terry, you can ask about a dream. I, I'm not always good at dream interpretation. I'm just going to probably give you my interpretation. I can't, like last night in my dreams, like all my Native American relatives were there and their tribal stuff. I still don't know what it means, but they were. They they showed up and they were all in their Indian stuff with their, their bows and arrows and spears. And in our lifetime, they didn't present that way. So these were my ancestor ancestors. Um, but please go ahead and ask. I'll be happy to answer that for you. Hey, Sal, how are you? Um, I think, thank you, Fawn. Thank you. Thank you for that. Yes, absolutely. Okay. So I'm going to try to read Terry's dream. Uh, I asked for divine guidance before sleep yesterday when I was Waking up, I heard the name Persephone again and again and saw the judgment card. Any idea what this means? Um, 
Let me get, give me a second here. Let me ask your guides what it means. Okay, so the first thing I'm I'm hearing judgment, the judgment card in the tarot. I don't know tarot very well. I I do not know tarot very well at all. Um, but the, I believe I think the judgment card means it can mean a couple of different things depending on what's near it, but I think it means either giving something a second chance or or judgment or karma. I think the justice card is karma, but judgment is coming. Like there has been a, a decision has been made one way or the other. A decision has been made. And in this case, um, the decision is to, I'm hearing the words move on. And sometimes the decision can be, I think, for a second chance or a do over or to a, a start again. And in this case there, I hear start again. Um, now I'm, I'm not the boss of anybody. I'm, I'm not even, excuse me, I'm not even the boss of myself. So I always tell everybody, use your own intuition and your own best um, knowing when these things are coming in and what subject it's on. So, for example, if this is regarding a work situation, don't just willy nilly quit your job without a new job. Of course, find first find a replacement and then and then go from there. Um, what I am going to tell you is I do think they're saying there's something that you have to like make that judgment call, cut it and and just move forward. Um, now, if you do go back to something. Always make sure you have done a course correction in whatever it was that that got you to that point. So um, you've discussed and you've corrected whatever went wrong, and now you're starting fresh again. Um, but that I don't know what Persephone means. If anybody in the chat knows what Persephone is. I don't know what a Persephone is. I know it's it, it's a name. I think there was a story with a Persephone, Persephone. I'm probably saying it wrong. A child's story, a children's story with that in it. I would look up that story and see what that entails and and um, and see how that fits into it. And thank you, because Terry says that makes a lot of sense, actually. Yeah, so definitely, whatever it is. Um, now, judgment and move on can mean move on to a new situation or let go of whatever happened. And if you're in that same situation, you have to completely be able to let it go and move on as though it's a new beginning, completely detaching from the past and everything that has happened from the past. That's very difficult to do, very difficult. Okay. Hi, Pat. How are you? Okay, guys, we are at that time, that 30 minute slot today. Thank you so much. I will be back Monday, no matter what, doing another show. I'm going to try to get a show in on Friday because I missed Mondays. Hopefully blog talk will be back up. I love you guys so very much. Thank you so, so, so much for joining me today. And Thank you for coming back. I'm so sorry for the shows that I missed over the past couple of weeks. Um, until next time, have an amazing rest of the day. Thank you. Thank you.